thanks for stopping by. Thank you. Um, I was so excited when I heard that there was a season two coming. I really enjoyed the first. You and me season. both. <laughs> right. So, so what can fans expect this season? Well, this season, um, you know, we we ended season one with uh, Luke kind of in a in a um, strange place as far as for the first time in his life, not having that um, ability to reach out to the other side and communicate, negotiate, um, you know, the things that he's done, uh, his special sauce for, uh, you know, since he was a little boy. And what we see largely in season two is him trying to come to grips with that and trying to see if he can do, you know, if he can follow that little niche uh, that he built the agency upon without that pipeline, without that, um, you know, two orange juice cans with the string connecting that he had to the um, uh, Beyond the Veil before um uh before the um uh the events of uh season one so a lot of it will be him finding his way um and um we've all already seen in the first couple of episodes the friction that kind of causes because he is he is absolutely trying too hard to show that he is still that guy and he is, uh, you know, in, in, in the process, he's really um, uh, being not too kind to Susan, who has stepped up in such an amazing way and is really running the place beautifully. And the combination of his insecurity and finding his way has really kind of alienated Susan. So there's that going on in the background in a vulnerable time for her, Susan finds this new house that is wonderful. It reminds her of some of her, her nicest childhood memories and it just feels comfortable and it embraces her. And we'll see throughout season two, just how restrictive that embrace will become. And um, part of the fun of of that uh, that particular relationship is that um, you know we're seeing Susan become almost like one of those um, uh, one of those entities that uh, that can't move on from a house, and so that uh, that's kind of a fun uh, fun thing going on along with our. Um, spook du jour, as we uh, as we sometimes call it, um, are uh, uh, the stories that happen every week of different cases, different clients, different houses, different entities. Right. I, lo I love this one thing I love about that show is that it it is such a unique spin on the paranormal and the supernatural genres, and it's delivered in a way that you know we've never seen a show like this before. Oh, thanks. I, uh, I I appreciate it. You know, it's funny when I took this pilot, uh, original pilot around a lot, <laughs> a lot. And what I would hear a lot of times is people would say, oh, um, people would say, oh, you know, it's I, I love the I love the idea. I love the elevator speech of it in Realtor who specializes in haunted houses. But, you know, we read it and it's it's funny in some places. And it's really scary in some places, and it's 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 kind of heartwarming and sad in some places. What is it? <laughs> and I kind of said, well, you know, it's kind of like life, which is has those same three things kind of happening in any given day. So um, it it it's it is a little bit different from the you know the usual genre stuff, but um, it's. Um, the, the idea and the concept of the haunted house is there are, um, you know, so many different ways of talking about it. And, and some of them are very sad and very touching. I mean, the idea of someone who needs to move on to whatever the universe has in store for them, but they can't, they're trapped in this one place and they are 
stuck and they are in a, in a cycle and a loop and they can't move on. And the idea that these guys are not only concerned with helping this entity move on, but they are interested in that so they can sell a house that, 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 that kind of um, pragmatism and uh, almost crassness is um is is a really nice juxtaposition with the emotion and the mystery and the the spookiness of it all and um you know that's what uh, that's what's fun for me about the show is that i have a i have a sign up on my uh, bulletin board in in my office where um, where I work when the writing room and it is a big sign that just says we are a show about real estate because if we take that away we're suddenly the ghost whisperer or something like that and and nothing against the ghost whisperer or any other of those genre shows but what's really fun to me is that this these people treat a haunting like most real estate agents treat harvest gold appliances or shag carpet or uh, a, a bad roof, something that needs to be fixed before they can sell the house. And as long as we keep that in mind, um, we're, we're stra- staying true to, uh, to the show. Right. And I mean, it's such a fantastic combination of those emotions and the spookiness and the frights and oh, the laws. It really is. It's a great combination. Um, how did the idea come to you to create this series? Well, I um, m- my uh, former life and most of my career, I spent in advertising. And um, I worked um, at an ad agency that did um, a, uh, a lot of advertising for real estate uh, agents, commercial real estate and re- residential. And I had uh, just given a presentation to a, a um, group of real estate agents, and we were having a drink afterwards at the bar. And one of the agents was telling me about this house that he had listed that was just magnificent. He just absolutely loved it. Um, and But the client told him that he was worried about selling it. And um, he was like, well, why would you worry about selling it? You're, it's a beautiful house. It's beautifully appointed. It's in a great neighborhood. The price point is right where it should be. And he goes, yeah, but I'm worried about Sad Sally. And he said, I said, what? And he said, yeah, who's Sad Sally? He said, Sad Sally is the woman in the old fashioned nightgown who sits in our kitchen about once a month and cries all night. And I was like, come on. And he was like, no, really, that's that's what the that's what the client told me. He said, okay, if he's got a leaky roof, I know who to call for that. If he's got radon gas in the basement, I know who to call for that. Who the hell do I call about this? And right, I just kind of tucked that away because it was really interesting. Who do you call? And um that uh that kind of um sometime later became uh became the idea behind uh behind surreal estate that's fantastic i love that you know that's that's great i've lived in a haunted house so i could I, i've been there see so- see so many people when you talk to people a lot of people even um even people who say well you know i don't believe in ghosts but they almost always say afterwards, but there was this one time <laughs> and they proceed to talk about something that could be one of our episodes. And um, there's, uh, you know, more in heaven and earth Horatio than we dream of in right, our I, one, I had a ghost named Bob in my last house. So uh, his name was Mr. Bob. So yeah, I, I believe, but you know, and that makes the show even better because, you know, I can sympathize with the character. Well, and St. John's, Newfoundland. I don't know if you've ever been, but St. John's, where we shoot the show, is this, you know, magnificent rock in the middle of the North Atlantic where you have all of these older houses and great big houses um, and a lot of 
new modern houses too, but the town has such a romantic gothic history to it that you know half the places we shoot in um have whispered um rumors of uh of something going on and uh it it, it makes i can't imagine shooting the show anywhere else because it really is almost a character in and of itself oh that, that's that's brilliant um so what do, what does the real estate hold i mean is is there another season coming hit hit well, if 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 all of us do our jobs, yes, yes, there is. But uh, no, and that's one of the fun things about about this show and these characters, particularly, and our amazing cast and crew. Um, but there are so many different kinds of houses. There are so many different kinds of entities. There are so many different kinds of stories that. Um, you know, I, I'll uh, as long as they let me, I'll keep uh, I'll keep doing these because it is such fun. And um, the uh, uh, you know, it, 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 at the end of the day, it's a cliche that um, it's all about the characters. But some things become cliches because they're true. And this is one of those things. The characters that um, uh, that are amazing cast is brought to life um, are so fun and so rich and have such interesting inner lives and and peeling those off throughout the season is another just huge source of fun um that uh that makes it um uh, i guess the term is sustainable um we feel like we can tell we'll go on telling those stories for um uh for a long time well i hope you do me too thank you 